man, cool car. Cool car you got over here. Yeah, yeah, big Jeep douche. Yeah, it's, it's parked over here right now. I just remember that. I forget where my stuff is. I can't park both my vehicles, my R8 and my Jeep in my garage. So I park one on the street sometimes. So here it is on the street. It's a cool car. It needs to be cleaned really freaking bad. It's gone like over 3,000 miles on the highway and has not been cleaned. Ugh, it needs it, but it's, it's pretty. All right, here we go. First road test. First road test. Feels good. <laughs> so, just yesterday, I put together, oh my gosh, my camera is even looking up. Stupid me. Yoink! Ta-da! Just yesterday, I put this helmet together. This is my new Venator. All I did was I took my Venator parts off of my Venator helmet and I put them onto my Atlas. And I gotta say, it looks, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna post pictures of it later. I have my own criticisms for my own helmet design. It does look pretty cool. Fortunately, the pieces that I had already been using for my Venator look pretty good on this helmet look pretty good they're not perfect though these pieces when I got them and picked them out and put them together I did it specifically for the last time that I had they fit that helmet perfectly those are the only pieces I had I'm not like able to fabricate new ones so I was like well I'll just take the existing pieces and put them on here and I'm sure it look good enough it does look good enough my big criticism for how it looks is the front straight on look like a freaking bug the wrist sprayers are too far apart. And that's because the helmet's shaped differently. My other helmet, the, the nose comes like to like a point. So you have these flat planes to mount the stuff on, but this helmet has much more curvature down here. And so they start to wrap. And depending on where you put these on along the side of the helmet, you either have these up here to look like, a, like way, way far apart like a bug, or, I get into neutral here so by the hand, or they come forward too much and they're facing forward too much and they look like big old nasty grills and that's stupid, so. This is what I came up with. I'm so happy with it. It's better than a generic, regular Atlas. And if I ever want to wear a regular, generic Atlas, I can, because I have access to several of them. Ha <laughs> ha! So this is my Venator Atlas. Oh my gosh, is this an incomplete building with a parking garage? There's no, well, I mean, I don't think people live here. I, I mean, I don't, I can, I can just walk in there, I walk. I could just ride in there, yep. I don't think anyone lives here yet. Well, actually, there's quite a few cars. I bet these are all people who are working here, not people actually you know live here i don't think anyone lives here yet that's a lot of trash wow it is really bright in here surprisingly a lot of white light you know disappointingly this garage looks like every other garage i've gone through when i was riding around here in maryland i was running around trying to find good places to record the finally friday but the intros and outros they all look like this if not crappier they're all just white flat sterile looking cubes are those those are look at those ceiling tiles i've never seen those in a garage before that's bizarre. Anyway, this isn't the kind of garage I like the look of. I like the concrete brick ones, or concrete, concrete, do you know what I'm trying to say? I mean, you don't know what I'm trying to say, but it's not important. I forgot to mention earlier, when I was talking about the vent, um, I actually removed the whole chin vent out of here so I could pass the cables through and stuff and make this look as neat as possible. But of course, with that, there's no chin vent in the middle now. It's just a hole, basically. So a lot of air gets through there, which is good or bad. Oh, speaking of which, Atlas Rurock sent me uh, a chin curtain. They have chin curtains for this helmet. I was like, thank you. So, already, also, I, I, I kind of blocked these vents when I was customizing it, too. I changed some stuff on this helmet. I was tinkering with it for a couple days. It's really fun. Anyway, what that means is less airflow in some areas, more airflow in others. I'm kind of curious to get on the highway or get, I mean, not highway, but get fast. Get fast to see how it feels, because right now it feels great, minus all the air going into here because I removed the vent. Oh, my gosh! I don't remember what building was there, but there was a building there. <laughs> oh, it's Trader. Oh, it's a Crab Shack thingy. Yeah, that's been. Whoa! Didn't see that. That's been out of business for a while. That's sad, dude. I have to tell Maddie when we get home. Oh, my back. Okay, I'll talk about that in a minute. When I go back home, Maddie will be there, and she was telling me before how she misses that place. I think. She, at least I think she said she misses it. At least I hope she said she misses it because it's gone now. When I get back keyword talking point for later. Wow, it's dark in here as opposed to the other garage. It's just because it's not white in here. When I get back, I'll have to tell her about that. But more importantly, I'm on a little bit of an errand. Uh, normally, I don't ride in the mornings, but I knew I wanted to because I knew I had to go any way to get bracket fast and because it's 75. It feels like 85 because of how freaking humid it is, but it's going to get to 90 and humid. So I'm like, nope, 
I do not want to ride later today, but I got to ride today, so I'm going to go off in the morning and get breakfast for Maddie and me. So that's something I have to do at the end of this ride. But I was like, well, I'm going to ride around a little bit, just enjoy it while I can before it gets to hellish humidity-ish conditions. Okay, I know exactly what fast road to go on. Let's hope to mother of God, nothing flies off of my helmet. Also, I should probably be talking while I'm out here to test the sound when I'm at speed. Okay, I'm not feeling a lot of drag. That's good. Surprisingly, not a lot of drag. I'm talking at a little bit of a loud volume. Apparently, I'm going 100 miles an hour, but let's just ignore that. Oh, and let's see if you guys can hear me talking. I'll bet because that vent is open that there's too much wind getting in here and you can't hear me. Okay, I'll slow down. Air feels good. I'll bet, be, like I was saying, in case you couldn't hear me, I'll bet because that vent is open in the middle that you probably couldn't hear me very well. I haven't road tested this helmet. I've tested it by putting it on and stuff. But road tests are important. That's what they're for. I went through all seven microphones that I own, okay? Oh my gosh, traffic. I went through all seven microphones that I own and this one sounds the best, even though and I gotta say that, I can say this, yeah. Freaking the Purple Panda microphones, that's the ones I use off of Amazon because Chase recommended them to me. They're, they're pretty adequate for the price and what they do if you wanna use it for your GoPro, but I have had varying degrees of success with them. Some of them sound better than others. That's all I can say, I don't know why, even though, all, even though they're all supposedly the same item. But anyway, this is the best sending microphone I have. Um, in case, in case it sounds awesome, that's why I went through all of them and I tested them all and blah, blah, blah. But why is it the best one? I don't know. Okay, so, sniffle. Ah, sexy sound, my back. So, it's Wednesday morning, yeah, Wednesday morning for me today. This time last week, yep, this time last week, I was, okay, just don't judge me. I mean, you can judge me, but just listen to the story first. I was lifting a weight, all right? It was not a hard weight. I was my form was good and fine like I was there was no reason for this okay there just wasn't a good reason for it but this was the situation I was just lifting a, a curl like my third curl and it wasn't even very heavy and then pop my back popped and I felt a sharp pain shoot up my spine and I was like uh oh and then I couldn't move so that was a little scary but then I quickly kind of became acclimated to it and I recognized it as a similar pain I had I had a work injury years ago on my back, very similar to this one. And uh, well, it was frustrating and debilitating. Um, it was a really hard day that day. I just couldn't move. I was in a lot of pain. It was good times. Um, and I thought, well, this sucks. I'm gonna be broken. But freaking over the course of like the next, next three days, I was feeling so much worse. Like, dude, I'm healing. And then like a week later, so yesterday morning, I was like, dude, I'm like 95%. I'm amazed how much better it got. The doctor uh, thinks it was a bulging disc, which I guess is most likely. So that happened and I got better, I was like, awesome. And then of course, I started messing with this helmet today. And when I mess with these helmets, I'm like bent in these awkward positions trying to hold the helmet up to my face and crap. But maybe that was it. maybe that's why. Maybe it's because I was working all day hunched over the helmet. Maybe there's no other reason for it. Maybe there's no reason for it, but my back started to hurt pretty bad. I was start by the end of yesterday, I was feeling as bad as day two. I was like, babe, I'm, I'm feeling not good. My back really hurts. I don't know what's going on. I was feeling fine this morning. She goes, well, I guess you can't do anything. I'm like, yeah, I guess you can't do anything. No, I mean, it, I'm, I'm, be I'm much better today than I was yesterday. But it's frustrating because I liked using my back. I was using it, but now it, it just hurts. It still hurts now, but it's it's much better than it was. But I messed up my back, okay? My back. And I don't know when it's gonna get all better, but it's a thing. Obviously, it's not so bad that I can't ride. Riding the motorcycle, even though I've had that work injury in my back years ago, almost never hurts my back. So that's like a super fortunate thing for me. Safety is my goal. Speed isn't. Makes me want to speed drive. I can do that on my motorcycle. Shoot, yeah, I'm forgetting something important. This is important. So, okay, right? I hurt my back. And then, not the very next day, but two days later, I was scheduled to start driving to Georgia for the Motovlogger meetup. So I, the second day, I was waiting around, my back was hurt, and I was like, well, I have until the end of today, literally, you know, the night before I drive to decide, hey, am I, am I able to drive? And I waited until I think four in the afternoon. I was like, this really is frustrating. I've been looking, man, okay. I don't wanna be discouraged. It's in the past now, but I'm still discouraged by it. 
I was planning to go to this Georgia meetup for a long time. I was going to take Maddie with me. I've always wanted to take Maddie with me to Georgia for one of these meetups. She was finally available. Like it, it was like a one time, right? It's like a one time opportunity kind of a thing. Kind of. I mean, I'm sure we'll get to go in the future at some point. You know, we waited so long. And then this happened like two days before. So I had to text Chase be like, dude, I'm really sorry. I messed up my back. I can't drive down there. So that was really frustrating. And I never made an explanation. I never like tweeted or anything. I don't want to make a like, tweet about it. I don't know why, but typically Twitter is where I would make a little announcements like, like, hey, I'm going to this, or hey, I'm going to be here, or hey, I'm not going because my back. I'm really sorry to those of you who were expecting to meet me there, including me. <laughs> I'm really sorry that I wasn't there. I'm really still bummed about it. I don't want to dwell on it, but it, it bums me a lot. Are you parked in two spaces or what? Yeah, she is parked in two spaces. Well, it sucks to be me, or it sucks to be you. Yeah, it sucks to be you, unless you hit my bike, and it sucks to be me. Yeah, I'm giving you a little bit of a stink eye. Oh, she smiled, that makes it okay. All right, I gotta go into Panera to get my girl a sandwich. Um, I'll be right back. All right, food gotted. I have one strong desire, and that is to go fast. Wow! Here we go. A little, bit of, a little speed. A little bit of speed. Never hurt nobody. Oh my ear! Woo! I said, oh my ear, because my uh, earbud on my left side is kind of falling out. I wear plugs when I'm riding this bike for a while because it's loud. Well, folks, this is our last time to hang out together. Ow! I burped. I didn't say ow. <laughs> I didn't say ow because my back. I I burped. I'm so freaking tired. I said ow because my back hurts. All right, doctor, here we go. Oh my ear, that hurts. <laughs> it's not so bad when you have both plugs out, but when you have just one in, it makes the other ear feel really loud. falls down when it takes on a lot of air it always takes all on the air when i go fast but i quit thank you guys for watching i will see you later bye Whoosh.